Hey guys, welcome back to Grace Posse Daily Devotion. Today we're going to be talking about hungering for righteousness. The thing is, is that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If you've accepted Jesus and, and his finished work, what he did on the cross for you, you've chosen to follow him and you are righteous, but we need to hunger for that righteousness. And we need to hunger for God's presence because righteousness gives us right standing in front of God. And Jesus provides that for us by what he did on the cross. And today we're talking about hungering for righteousness. And the, the scripture comes from Matthew 5, verse 6. It says, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. The man with the unclean spirit looked strong. He caused fear in others. Nobody wanted to get close to him because they were afraid of his strength and that he could pluck asunder fetters and like chains in pieces. But when a man is alone, he, he was anything but strong. He was crying. That's what it said in Mark 5, 4 and 5. Countless men are crying today because deep down inside their hearts, they have been become something they didn't want to become. Not wanting to be who they, they were in key to your deliverance. It's not what you've done that makes you a candidate for God's forgiveness. It's how you feel about what you've done and how to feel about when you know, what you want to be. The thing is, is that we have been given forgiveness because of what Christ did for us on the cross. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us and he helps steer us in the right direction. And here, the thing is, is that when we when we hunger for and thirst for righteousness, it, it's it's there. It's provi it's provided for us. Everything everything that we need is given to us because of God's grace and His love for us. And grace, in my definition, is is God doing for us what we can't do for ourselves. Jesus did not cross the Sea of Galilee on a stormy night to meet. This man, simply because he had an unclean spirit, no doubt there were people with unclean spirits on the shore where Jesus was. No, Jesus was led to, by God to this man because he was in the tombs, crying. And he didn't want to, to be a man he had become, be the man he had become. He didn't want his future to be the same as his past. Thank goodness Jesus didn't say, Blessed is he who is righteous. He would eliminate all of us from God's blessing. Thank goodness Jesus said, Blessed is he who still wants to be righteous, who still has an appetite for doing the right thing, who still thirsts to be better, a better person, who still wants to be whole even though he knows he isn't whole. Who still wants to, do, to be a good husband and know, knows that he isn't. He still wants to be a fa father. He believes that he can, can be and isn't right now. He still wants to change and grow. Who still desires to be holy. Deliverance begins with desire. A passion in you that challenges the problem in you. I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to act like this. I don't want to be a drunk or a, a drug addict. or I don't want to be an ang this angry, this critical, this cold, this indifferent, this destructive, this lazy, this trite. I don't want to be jealous or suspicious or distant. What is it that you don't want to be anymore? What is it that you don't want to do anymore? What is your cry to God? God can and does hear when you cry. The Bible just says simply cry out to Him. He hears our prayers. He moves forward when you cry. He comes to you and with deliverance and forgiveness. Cry out to God today for the changes you want in your life. You don't, We don't have to remain uh, the people that we were. And I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago, let alone 20. I don't act the same. I don't do the same things. I've grown. God has, has shown me and taught me, and, and I've walked with Him. And the more I walk with Him, the closer I get, the more that stuff just falls off, and it becomes 
it becomes only a part of my past and your past doesn't have to rule over your future let's go to the Lord in prayer Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We praise you. We exalt you. We lift up your name. And we're thankful, Father, that you you help us uh, sometimes even when we don't need, don't think we need your help. But, Father, we're thankful that you're always there. You never leave us. You never forsake us. And you're always giving us the things that we need to make it through this life. You're always pointing us in a good direction. And that direction always points us back to your goodness. And we thank you and praise you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time.